Thank you for listening to Dialogues on Democracy, presenting expertise and stories from 25 years of building sustainable democracies. I'm Joseph Marcus. IFAS conducts assessment missions throughout the world. I spoke with Peter Urban, IFAS's senior global electoral advisor and current chief of party in Indonesia. Peter Urban has over 20 years of electoral management experience and has conducted over 15 assessment missions in a variety of regions. Peter, what trends occur within a country's electoral environment when there is a power vacuum? After authoritarian regime, the trend is an insatiable appetite for participation in the population and a demand for immediate representative government. This is often combined with extreme suspicion between opposing interest groups and a society-wide unrealistic expectation for what the newfound freedom and democracy can bring. In this situation, there's often little or deeply flawed national electoral capacity, and at times a level of tension between interest groups that make it challenging to establish a nascent electoral authority. In fragile democracies, we often see that the electoral and political environment is compromised, particularly voters questioning the integrity and the effectiveness of politicians, democracy, and the electoral institution. What is an assessment mission? Who is involved and how do these missions work? We're typically three to five senior international experts who are selected to have combined expertise that cover all the electoral disciplines. A team can, for example, consist of a team leader who is a senior electoral manager, electoral legal expert who specializes in election law and standards, a election technology expert who covers voter registration, results management, and so on, and an expert covering areas with wider involvement, such as voter education, gender, and disability issues. We gather as much empirical data as possible from existing documentation and an exhaustive range of meetings. We analyze this data in the light of international experience, standards, and best practice. Pivotal to the mission is the full participation of national experts to ensure that the, all the data gathering and analysis is sensitive to the local context. Within a partnering country, who does IFAS work with? On an assessment mission, IFAS consults with all stakeholders who are involved in and who are affected by the electoral process. Most often, the electoral institutions themselves, often called the Election Commission, those competing for office, academia, civil society, and voters themselves through focus groups and surveys. One of the interesting aspects of our assessment mission is that these at times happen <clears throat> to nations still ruled by authoritarian regimes but with an aspiration to become a democracy. Recently, I, I spoke to a general, and we talked about the fact that their ballot boxes do not have any type of securities. And the, the general did look at me with some surprise and said that that was truly not a problem because in elections managed by them, nobody would dare tamper uh, with the ballot in the box. What challenges exist when we enter these situations? Gaining access to the country, for example, securing appropriate visa and organizing logistics and security in-country can be a complex challenge. In nascent electoral environments, access to information and relevant stakeholders can be really difficult. One approach we use to overcome all of the above um, challenges is to engage with national experts and organizations, as well as regional institutions. Who utilizes IFAS's assessment missions, and how do they use them? The assessment is often presented in a comprehensive report in the excess of 100 pages plus annexes. The report is not a typical election observer report. It is more of a peer-to-peer -peer effort to offer specific electoral stakeholders, such as the Election Commission, very frank feedback. Some assessment reports are made publicly available by the decision of the key recipients of the report. You can, for example, see a comprehensive pre-election technical assessment um, released publicly by the Thai Election Commission by googling download IFAS Thailand assessment. An assessment almost always contains conclusions and recommendations that affect all the key stakeholders in the electoral process, certainly almost always to a donor and to the National Election Commission, but often also to civic society and others. Why are these assessment missions important for the electoral environment? Assessments are fundamental to ensure that the challenge in a given situation is well understood, that potential solutions are economic and effective, and that international standards and best practice 
are well considered with a full understanding of the local context. For more dialogues on democracy, information on Peter Urban and IFAS's assessment missions, please visit our website, www.ifas.org.